Hi, this is our Genie compatible transmitter and it works on the dip switch principle. It works on both the 9 and the 12 dip switches. When you get it, you're going to have to tune it in because it uh, has to be customized to uh, fit your security needs. The way you would do that, you first start by removing the uh, battery cover and it will expose the dip switches. If you'll count across, there are 12 two-position dip switches. And all the way on the right-hand side of that uh, block that has the dip switches in it, there's a terminal block. And that terminal block is what's going to be used to configure the transmitter between the 9 dip switch usage and the 12 dip switch usage. Now the way you get to that, you will turn the transmitter over We're going to release the screws. We're going to take the top of it off. All right, at this angle, you can see the dip switch pod, and you can count there are 12 dip switches. At the very end of that is the terminal block. There's three wires at the end of that terminal block, and as it sits there, there's a bridge over two of those terminals. Um, if you have a nine dip switch unit, you're going to require one set of bridge settings. If you have a 12 dip switch, you're going to require a different. So I'm going to pull that uh, bridge off of there so you can get a look at it. It's going to be three wires sticking up in the air. And I'm just simply using a pair of needle nose pliers and I'm going to connect to the, the bridge and I'm going to just pull it straight up and off and you will now see the three different pins sticking up. Now if you're going to use this on the nine dip switch settings, the last three switches, 10 and 11 and 12, should be down or in the off position. Now I'm going to put the bridge back on and the way that this bridge is designed to work, if you're using the transmitter as a nine dip switch transmitter, you're going to put the bridge between wires two and three. So you're going to put those on two and three. Now if you're going to use it in the 12 dip switch position, you're going to put the bridge on terminals one or two. Or in the 12 dip switch position, you can take it off. You don't even need it there. So I hope that'll give you an overview of how you set this between the 9 and 12 dip switches. All of our staff is uh, very well aware of how this is done and can help you if you don't understand what we're talking about or you can send us an email. So uh, if you need some more help, pick up the phone, give us a call. We're always here to help you. Thank you.